Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Hello. Please do smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this video or this reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. And uh yeah, Virgo. If you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below the video. I do have a discount going for a um, 30 minute phone call reading for July. So please do check that out. And if you are unable to book at the time I'm available, there is another tower reader on my website who is available for you. All right, Virgo. So let's get into this reading and see what the love messages are. And what's going on? Okay, you have keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional string along, one night stand. Okay, let's see. Okay, passion. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> um, couple of cards, another card flipped out. You have girl talk and... Cupid's arrow. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. I feel like you've got some friends or some people who are going, or you might be connecting with some others where there is some interest, the passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. Um, I kind of feel like there's like some conversations happening between you and some friends who are just kind of like, oh, you know, just want to meet somebody. Or just kind of like your engines revving, Virgo. <laughs> Cupid's arrow, having faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, a little bit of hesitation, um, moving on, being happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So, you know, Virgo, it looks like you may have some options this week. You know, um, passionate options. Um, it's not a guarantee there's going to be a one night stand kind of thing, but um, it, it, because I know, Vir like, I know a lot of you Virgos are like, no, that's not your thing. You're, you're looking for something more serious and, you know, a deeper connection with someone. Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of flirtatious energy showing up in July. Um, other people interested in you you know, um, hanging out with your friends or just being single and flirting. It's kind of what I feel. Um, yeah, so it's not serious. I don't feel like there's anything serious showing up here with anyone. I just feel like there may be one, two, three, four, ten people who are interested in you and, you know, aren't looking for anything serious. And I'm not saying that, you know, oh, Virgo, well, you should do that. I'm just saying that there's a little bit of um, an ego boost. There's a few people that are going to be showing up in July that, you know, you might be talking to a few people and there's interest being generated, you know, that passionate flirting kind of thing, you know. So, um, yeah, okay, so you might be meeting up with some people or, you know, it's, it's nice. It's a little, I don't know, a little kick in the pants. It's a little self-esteem booster. That's really what I feel like is going on here. Let's see, what else? You've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. So it looks to me, Virgo, like nothing serious is happening in this particular situation here, okay? Um, you're not falling in love with anybody. Nobody's fallen in love with you, but there is, you know, pretty hardcore attraction happening and flirting chemistry, okay? A magnetic attraction. That's what we're talking about. So, you know, it is what it is, Virgo. I mean, what are you going to do? You've got some suitors or you've got some people flirting with you or, you know, um, maybe amongst your friends or people that you connect with people that you are talking to it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so it kind of feels like virgo soak it up sister soak it up brother just enjoy it i'm not really picking up anything major happening here let me see what other messages there are for the rest of july for you yeah it just feels like you're going to have you're going to be generating some suitors that's really what it feels like and i really don't feel like it's anyone that's going to be I mean, at, at the least, or at the most, um, they might wet your palate, <laughs> so to speak. 
All right, let me see. What other messages are there here for you, Virgo? You know, whether you're in a relationship or not. Um, hmm, okay. There's a little bit of escapism happening here and fun in the sun as well, okay? So it feels like, <clears throat> you know, in well, for those of you who are experiencing the summer, I mean, the summer energy just feels like, with the Seven of Swords, it's like, I don't know, you're keeping some kind of secret or you are not really sharing anything. You're doing some stuff on the, on the DL. You're not really... Um, I mean, if you're in a relationship, you might be kind of like talking to other people, you know, that kind of thing. But it, 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 I'm not seeing necessarily actually cheating. It just feels more like, I don't know, wandering, a wandering eye. Um, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, you're not letting anybody know that you're going to be talking to one, two, three, or ten people. In July, you're not telling anybody, anybody else, you know, um, you might tell some people who are close to you. Um, maybe you're on a dating site and there's some suitors or maybe you um, have met some people and you've got some other people um, that are interested in you. But you know what? I just kind of feel like you might be keeping it to yourself. You're not telling anybody else. You're not letting one hand know what the other hand is doing. Okay keeping a little bit of privacy and I feel like part of this is because you're trying to make a decision as well about making um choosing one choosing one person now for some this could be a Leo but I kind of feel like you um I I don't see you I I, f I feel like it's like the remember the old remember that old show the dating game I feel like you're sitting there and, you know, contestant number one, two, and three are vying for your attention. And I feel like you're going to have a choice or a decision to make um, about who you would be interested in or who is going to suit you better. Like, it's kind of, um, it's like a dating scenario. Nobody's committing to anything. It's still kind of a getting to know each other scenario at, you know, the rest of this July. So even if you're not on a dating site, you might decide when you get off of here, you know, or to just connect with other people. It doesn't have to be a dating site. Maybe you're doing it with on like social media or you're going to some kind of um, functions where there's a single people, you know, that kind of thing. Let me see. What else is going on here? Okay. Wow. Double Leo energy. Hmm. This is interesting. Some of you are not telling Leo what you're doing. Mm -mm. I don't know who that would be, but you're definitely... You're definitely... Um, remaining open to see what these other options are or to see who kind of like you know comes towards you um your confidence looks amazing or it will be getting stronger okay but it's a little stressful for you to kind of come to this decision because you're gonna have to cut somebody out that's what i feel like you're go you're like i, I feel like there's I i'm picking up like two or three people that are showing interest in you and you're going to have to choose, or you will want to choose one of them. You know, because Cupid's arrow is here. So this is basically a message of love is coming. Um, you're hesitating because you're not sure who you would be. You're still trying to, dis you're in like a discovery phase of trying to figure out who's going to fit you best. Um And you do have a surprise invitation or meeting somebody as well. So you might get invited to go somewhere with someone where it's not a very serious thing. Now, you might not go. You might decide, no, you're not going to. Or you might decide you will. Or go on some kind of, like, you know, a vacation or a trip or something like that. Okay. Oh, somebody around you is very, very sad. They're grieving. Five of Cups. They're sitting with some regret. Oh, 
It's okay. It could be an Aries or an Emperor, someone who you know represents like a father figure or someone who maybe they're a parent, another parent. Um, I don't know. This Emperor looks really sad, Virgo. They're kind of like bumming out. They're having a lot of regrets about something here. And you have a connection to this person. Let me see. I feel like, you know, it's weird. I just get this message that this might be someone that you have, like a relationship that you've ended, and now you're back out on the market. You put your house up for sale, and you're having your uh, open houses on Sundays, Virgo. You're letting people come in and walk through just to, you know, check things out. Yeah, and there's somebody um, who maybe used to live in that house with you or someone that you uh, were connected to <clears throat> who knows that, you know, you're looking at your other options in July and mm, they might, they're having some kind of regret. Let me see. What else is going on here? Oh, shoot. Wow, the devil. Ugh, this person's like obsessed with you, Virgo. They are, this this emperor, male or masculine or feminine energy, they are like obsessed. Like they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, you had some kind of connection with this person. Um, you are on their mind constantly. You had some kind of love connection with this person. Maybe it was friendship with a potential for love. But something happened with this person in the past, perhaps, where <clears throat> you both thought you were each other's soulmate. Something must have happened. Maybe there was addiction involved or something ended. And this person is like super, super regretful and remorseful and kind of depressed um, because it's done like it's over they have not let you go and I don't know how like I don't know if this thing like I don't know how long you guys maybe you were together for two years or more but it's all like they can't stop thinking about what you both had together okay so yeah Virgo I just kind of feel like this person feels like you don't love them anymore they feel abandoned they're in like grief state you're looking at your other options, you're flirting, you're having fun, you're doing whatever you need to do, or at least you will be in July. If you're not doing it now, you definitely will be having other options coming towards you. Let me say, what else is going on with this emperor? There's also, like, if you were just friends with this person, <laughs> I mean, they didn't shoot their shot, obviously, and they're kind of kicking themselves because they didn't take advantage of the opportunity with you when it came and now Virgo's just moving on to I don't know bigger and better let me see like they didn't come forward for some of you this person did not come forward when it was the right time okay yeah look man this person's like whew. they are in love with you Virgo OMG this emperor is absolutely like They can't stop thinking about you, and they are like head over heels for you. Or is it heels overhead? Um, mm, Virgo, mm, this person is like, they're sitting here kind of definitely kicking themselves. Like, I should have just taken that opportunity. I should have I done this with Virgo. I should have done this with Virgo. Wow. Okay. Well... Virgo, it, I mean, it looks to me like you're already moving forward. If you haven't, you know, if this is a new situation happening here and you're just, looks like you're moving on and kind of like seeing what the other cats are doing on the other side of the wall there. You're curious for sure. Yep. And you're just kind of like, well, what else is out there? I got to get my wishes and dreams, you know. You're walking away from something here, going after your ninth cup. And this, whoever this person is, I mean, oh well, they should have done something, right? They should have, they should have taken, uh, 
They should have shot their shot, man. They should have done something. But, you know, it's all right. Right, Virgo? Because you've got love coming in. So I feel like things are going to work out for you. And maybe things will work out for them, too. You know, it is what it is. Um, let me see what your messages of love are here. Yeah, but this person, I mean... Uh, you know what? I just have to... Add. Okay, they just said, is this person going to try to come back into your life and try to like gay back or are they just gonna sit there like a sorry puss what's this person gonna do because you know the the lovers is here that is a card of decision so what is this decision oh shoot oh no i don't think this person's gonna come back i don't see them at least not in july i don't see this person they're too like mm -mm. if they do they might try to do it to break up any of your prospects going forward let me see here yeah i i just don't ugh, there we go nope i don't see this per i feel like this person is just gonna take the l and move on and let you go eventually you know at least in july and move on and let you have your new chapter um i feel like this person doesn't want to hold you back they want you to be happy. They want you to find someone that fits you for sure. You know, um, they want you to have that new chapter. They're going to try to have a new chapter. I just don't feel like they're really going to. There might be some communication between you because the three of swords can be a card of arguments or communication. Um, there might be some communication asking if you've really moved on or if you're done, you know, um, that kind of thing. I don't know. It looks like this situation with this emperor is done. It looks like it's over. For you. It looks like it's over for you. Now, of course, you know, if this person reaches out and it's like, is it really over? I mean, Virgo, you know, uh, just because the card says something doesn't mean you can't change it. So you might turn around and say, well, you know, you could say I'm exploring other options because you, you're not interested and you haven't done anything to show that. So, you know, I, I always like to use real estate analogies. Just like, you know, if you got your house on the market, you are you have an intention there because you want to sell your house, right? So people are going to come in and they want to look at your house, right? These are called prospects. But if somebody keeps knocking on your door trying to see your house, but they're not tr putting a down payment on the house, then, I mean, obviously, you're going to keep your options open to try to find someone that will, you know? So it, it would be silly. Some people legit just want to come in and they want to just be like, you know, I don't want to put a down payment, but is it? A, can you lease it to me? So I don't really, I can only commit to that much. I mean, it's really up to you, Virgo. What do you want? You know, are you trying to sell your house? Are you trying to rent it? What are you doing? Are you staying? Like, what do you, it's up to you. You got to make your, you got to make up your own mind. You can't wait for somebody else to make up your own mind. It's your house. They don't get the say, you know? So that's why I'm trying to say at the end of the day, like, if they're not putting a down payment on the house, you know, or they're not trying to sign the contract, then let it go to the next buyer, right? I mean, come on, let's keep it real, you know? It doesn't have anything so much to do, you know, love is love, and you love who you love, and you can't help who you love, and the other person can't help that they love you, and they're kicking themselves, obviously, because they didn't, you know, do what they needed to do, um, and for some of you, it might just be too late. The house may be off the market, because I see you meeting some people, and I see you in July coming down to the wire and making a decision about connecting with someone, which is great, um, you know, you have, I keep wanting to say, <laughs> you've got options, Virgo. You've got mail. You've got options, you know. Now, some of y'all are like, I don't have any options. And I'm just like, well, is your house on the market? What are you doing? Unless somebody just comes to your door and is like, hey, you interested in selling your house and you don't have it for sale? Put away the computer, Virgo. Get out there and get into your life. That's the strongest message for you there. Put the phone down. Get off the social media apps. Get off YouTube. And go to those parties. Release. Radical acceptance. Surrender can help you let go. So, key word here, Virgo. Radical. Radical. This is not 
Oh, acceptance and surrender can help you let go. No, this is radical. This is like, boom, crazy, doing something you've never done before. Radical acceptance, which means um, doing it even though you don't want to. You know, like a free radical in your body that's just going wild. This is like, do that wild thing if you need to. I don't know what this has to do with, if it could have to do with this person or it could have to do with something in your life, but... Some of you just need to be like, push back from the table, put away the computer, make a drastic radical move, surrender, and let go of something. So you can open, you know, a closed, a closed mouth catches no flies, which is a good thing, right? Or is it a closed mouth gets no honey? So... Yeah, don't open your mouth for the flies. That's disgusting. <laughs> One time I was driving in my car with my sister-in-law, and my kids were little, and we stopped and got some french fries for the baby, and they were really super hot. So I took the bag, and I, like, held it out the window, and she's like, what are you doing? We were driving. She goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm trying to cool the fries off. She goes, you can cool the flies? You're going to catch some flies with those french fries. And I just was like... I never even thought about the flies or the bugs that hit the windshield. Anyway, all was well. I didn't give my kid flies. I gave them fries. Okay. Little story. Little story here. Let me see. What else is going on here? Okay. Wow. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Wow, Virgo. You have. That's passion twice. So I'm not telling you to like go have one night, one night stands with people. Unless they're paying you, of course. But legit... It's time for passion, Virgo. It's time for passion and for love and doing some radical things this summer and breaking out of some kind of shell and doing what you need to do for you. That's the strongest message. Longing. Someone's secretly longing for you. Oh, yeah. That's that person, Virgo. Your, your other person. They're never going to get over you. You are, you, you are etched in their mind <clears throat> with that devil energy. That is legit <laughs> obsession. Legit. It, almost bordering addiction. Um, but, I mean, you know, that's for them to work on. You know, if they're not going... Like, it, it's weird behavior. It's like, why acting like that? Like, you had somebody there, and you didn't, for whatever reason, or you couldn't, or you chose not to... Um, commit and like now you're gonna suffer um like it's it's really easy like you 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 step over the threshold or you don't you just make the commitment or you don't but you know maybe for this person i don't know i i sound like i'm making excuses for somebody here but there's really no excuse i mean uh, because anything you can say i mean you could say this person like there could there could be a billion variables why somebody wouldn't cross that threshold with you you know, and I don't know specifically your story, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> finding out the why doesn't change the situation, right? That's just the motive, but you have to look at the evidence of the situation and the facts. So you can be kind to the person if they weren't capable of doing something or they didn't want to, whatever the motive, whatever their reason having that information might make it a little bit easier for you, but it doesn't change the facts. So stick with the facts, really, without any emotion attached to it. The facts are, it is what it is. This person had the chance to be with you, and that didn't happen. There might have been a breakup, and you moved on, and now you've got other options here. You know, even if it's one other option, that's great, and you're going to take your time. I mean, love is definitely going to come, you know, but um, I feel like put yourself in a position to receive, that's all. That's really the gist of it, Virgo. Okay, reading's done. See you later. Just kidding. That's really just the gist of it. Put yourself in a position to receive and smile. Okay, I want to get a couple of um, Moon Pie Tarot messages to see what else is coming your way here. What other messages? Do the Virgos need to know? Family celebrations, wedding, engagement, party. Okay. Well, party, party, hearty, Virgo, for July. Awesome. Awesome sauce. 
go out and have fun. Maybe you're going to a family get-together or hanging out with some friends, going to some type of celebratory event, going to a wedding. There might be an engagement party you're attending. Um, okay, you've got material gift. Okay, so either you're going to be bringing gifts or receiving gifts. Maybe it's um, some kind of event for you where people are going to bring gifts. The struggle is over, so that's good. Coming to the end of some things here, and you also have the moon card. So this is really just a message like, not everything is going to be apparent. Life is just always full of mysteries. And sometimes there's not enough light to see ahead, right? Because why? We don't have hindsight until after the fact, right? And so everything is kind of like shadows and we're trying to figure stuff out as we go. You know, we're all walking this path of life. Um, and oftentimes we, we're not sure what, we have no idea what's gonna come ahead. That's why we come to tarot card readings, right? But don't fear anything. Just look at the things that are clear, right? Because when the moon shines at night, it only shines on the tops of things. And the moon tends to cast shadows, much like the sun, but it's very open and you can see everything with the sun. But with the moon, it casts light just on the tops of things. So it's kind of hard to make it out, even if you know what it is. Wherever the light shines, go towards the light because the light is going to give you um, truth, okay? Because sometimes your mind will play tricks on you. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation. Remain still until more light is shown on the situation. Just take caution as you go forward. Um, but don't be a cautionary tale. You know, look, see, trust <clears throat> um, in only what you can see. And let your faith guide the way. That's the strongest message I'm getting. Are really waxing um, poetic here. Okay, you've got a financial decision coming up for you to make as well in July. What else? Oh, you've got a twin soul connection too coming to you. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for the twin soul. If this past person you felt was your twin soul, then you guys are twin souls in separation. You were chosen for one another. The love was meant to be, for some of you, it is time to reconcile, but for others, it's not time yet. For others, you're trying to just get the lesson so you can have growth. And just so you know, so is the other person, okay? So just leave it be, leave them be, go do your thing, go live your life, be happy, okay? Okay? <laughs> time waits for no one, Virgo. Time, time waits for no one. Or Noah. I just heard Noah. Who's Noah? All right, let's get some Chinese signs, Virgo. Let's see if this resonates for you. Your Chinese sign, Virgo. Or someone else on your mind. Okay. So you have Year of the Dog. Year of the Snake. Year of the Tiger. Year of the Pig. Year of the Dragon. Year of the Rat. We have the dragon again, year of the goat, and rabbit. Did I say rabbit? Goat, rat, dragon? I guess not. Yeah, so we have a rabbit. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but if I did, that's twice. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's get some other messages here. Let's see what else I can pick up here. Some randoms. What other messages for Virgo for July? Random messages for Virgo. Okay. Oh, Granny with her kitty cat. I see an old lady. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just saying this right now. I'm going to show you. Careful, Virgo. Careful. You don't want that to be you. You and your cat. And... I don't know, the angels. Virgo, be careful. If you don't want to end up like an old lady, living it all by yourself. Some of you I know are like, yeah, I can't wait for that. But if you don't want that, keep yourself, because that's going to sneak up on you very quickly if you don't get out there and try to 
engage with someone or meet other people. I know, I know you don't want to. I get it. Some of you are like, I don't want to go out with people I'm not interested in. You don't have to be interested in them. Just go have fun. Just go dance. Everybody loves to dance or do whatever you need to do. Make some friends. Not that, you know, I know there's some Virgos who are doing that. I'm speaking to the ones who are not coming out of their comfort zone and just waiting for Mr. or Mrs. Wright to appear at their door. Okay, so someone is 56 years of age. Okay. And someone's taking an Uber or drives an Uber. All right. <clears throat> Christmas is going to be significant, excuse me, with a Joseph or a Jose or a Joe, or for a Joseph, a Jose or a Joanne. Christmas is going to be significant. There might be a trip around the world or something along those lines or something comes full circle at Christmas for someone with a, a J-O. Ho, Jose, Joe, Joseph, Josephina, Joanne, that kind of name. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, someone is also 57. And someone was born. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Someone is 67 also. Um, we also have someone, our birthday, our year, 1975, 1976, 1965, or 1967, okay? So we have initial G, and they're telling me the word gardenia, gardenia, okay? Let's see. Okay, so um, I see someone sitting at like a diner or a restaurant ordering um, waffles or having like a waffle cone. Um, I'm seeing like waffles, I don't know, chicken and waffles or just waffle, warm waffles with delicious warm syrup and butter and whipped cream and maybe some fruit on top. Mm, delicious waffles. Um, yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> hmm. Okay. I'm also seeing a waterfall. Something with a waterfall. Someone's near a waterfall. Maybe it's, you know, it's a place where there's water waterfalls. Visiting a place with waterfalls. All right. If you see like a red robin or a red kind of bird, cardinal maybe um this is your message they're just telling me and um i'm also seeing a lot of sunflowers someone's got like somewhere where there's like a bunch like a bunch of sunflowers okay someone is coming in to see you um or you're going to see someone i feel like they're coming someone's coming into shore is what i'm hearing coming into they're coming by way of a boat someone's coming in on a boat to the beach or docking somewhere okay one more and hmm all right they just said the an apple tree there's an apple tree or someone's drinking apple cider vinegar or some kind of apple, apple teeny. Maybe that's what it is. Someone's drinking apple teenies or some kind of, could be an apple liqueur or um, picking out apples, maybe make an apple pie or apple crumble, picking out apples. There's, there's a connection to apples. That's what I'm gonna say. Connection to apples, Virgo. Um, okay, let's get your your numbers. All right, we have Virgo, Gemini, as always, Aries again, and Capricorn. Okay, September 8th, 
September 1st, September 18th, the 12th, September 11th, September 9th, and September 5th. Okay. Um, and they're also saying September 15th and September 19th. Okay. Any Augusts? September, I'm sorry, August 28th, 29th, and 26th. Okay, very significant. And everybody's like, I just heard somebody say, they never, she never says August 31st. All right, let's try the August again. Ooh. Um, nope, that's it. Doesn't mean it's not your reading, though. Let's get some numbers. Hey, did anybody hit that big jackpot? There was like a... Wasn't it like $6 million or something? Okay. So here's your numbers. Got a pen? Write it down. 9410-1596 and the number 48... So I don't know if those are phone numbers. It could be house numbers. Take it as it resonates. All right, Virgo. Let's get your charms, and then that's going to be it for today. All right, let's give Virgo a charm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Here's that. <laughs> that's too funny. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my reading from oodles ago. But I kept, like, I was freaking out about this thing. Do you remember? And I was like, what the hell is that? Like, is that a squid? But, yeah, it turned out it was a mermaid. So, something here to do with a mermaid. Maybe you're going to see the movie, The Little Mermaid. Or you see something to do with a mermaid or read an article about mermaids. Um, there might be a Pisces that you have a connection with as well. Or maybe you have Pisces in your chart somewhere. Okay. So there's a lot of fish energy going on. Um, I don't know what you're doing. Um, these kind of feel like lures. So maybe somebody likes to go fish or goes fishing or is going fishing um, over the rest of July. Um, something by the sea. Down by the seaside where the boat's all sailing. All right, there's a song for you. Who remembers that? Now, there was two people that sang that song, that, the first original, and then there was a remake. So either one, if you can remember. Um, okay. Yep. That's pretty much it. That's, that's the, the strongest message I'm feeling. There's some type of connection to the sea or to Pisces or water energy also, and um, something to do with, I don't know, mermaids. Maybe it's Barnacle Boy and Merman. I don't know. That just came to my head. But sometimes that does. Whenever I look at a mermaid, I always think of that stupid SpongeBob thing. I don't know what the hell is. You know what it is? It's because when my kids were little, oh, my God, that was all they watched. It was SpongeBob every single day in the summer. I swear. And my husband and I would just sit there and just mimic SpongeBob all the time. We, we were nuts. We went crazy. Obviously, that was a long time ago, but... <laughs> fun times hey all right you guys so i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that you enjoyed that if you want to get a personal reading don't forget click the link in the description box below go over to my website you can book your reading there and it is heavily discounted for july and yeah don't forget you guys also if you haven't heard me say i do have a fundraiser here on my channel to help save children you can donate to save them from child trafficking stuff that's going on i also have a website the link is below as well where you can donate to help find missing children to all of you who have donated big shout out thank you so much i'm super super grateful between the two sites we've already raised a thousand dollars so hey every little bit helps so there you go guys uh, make good choices love yourselves love others and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care i